Hi, this is Raymond from Tesla Offer and MTAC. Uh, today we will try to show you how to install the foot sensor for both Model Y and the facelift Model 3. So there's some precaution. Uh, if you are planning to install a carbon fiber body kit, uh, if you plan to install a rear diffuser uh, like this one, this one is not carbon fiber. Uh, this one is, is just plastic, so it should be good. But if you plan to install a carbon fiber one, you need to mount the foot sensor under the carbon fiber diffuser. Uh, but if you have a plastic one, uh, before you plan to install uh, this one, you can mount a foot sensor uh, above, above the diffuser, diffuser first. Uh, I'll show you. You just need to remove this board. So the, the board is like, it's installed like this. So you just need to rotate this so this is locked and you just unlock it and then pull it down. There are two screws here. So you can pull it down from here and then we can do the wiring. Uh, I'll show you how to do the install now. Um, so the kit is very simple. It consists of a long wire that you need to run up to the, to the lid. Uh, a connector. So it helps you to run the wire easier. So you just plug it back into the plug after you run it to the top. Uh, and a signal wire. Uh, for this yellow wire, it's for the extra option. Uh, in case you want extra safety feature and purchase the extra option, this is the, the wire you need. Uh, I'll show you later as well. So uh, let's get started. Uh, so the first thing we need uh, is to run the wire up to the lead. So let me show you how to do it. So the first thing we need to uh, remove this cover. So there is a plug here. I just pry out this push pin. So it's like this. You just pry from the gap here, the channel here, and then twist it, and then you can be unplugged and then you can take it over. So I normally just just loosen one side, but uh, you can loosen both sides. Uh, then I can run the wire. So here is the press, uh, rubber cover that you need to remove. Uh, loosen up here. And then we'll thread from here to, to here. So let me show you. So I normally use this hole. This hole because it's, it's very easy to run from here. Let me show you. So I just run it here. And then it will come through here. Yeah, so I can pull everything out. Then I just need to run the wire to the lid. So, and then I need, just need a fishing, fishing wire. So I start from here. Use anything like this, a fishing wire. Uh, I'll run it down first. Uh, if you apply a little bit lubricant or dishwasher, it'll be easier to run down. So when it hit to the uh, corner here, uh, you need to massage here a little bit to help it go through. Yeah, I think it go through now. Let me see if it's here. Yeah. So here it is. Then I just... Uh, get out my wire use some electrical tape to wrap around make sure here is dry so now uh, we are ready uh, we can run the whole thing up yeah of course uh, if you apply some lubricant you will help a lot so make sure you have enough wire oh, I think that's enough yeah more than enough so here basically it's done. Uh, oh yeah, uh, one more thing. Uh, when you run the wire, uh, we suggest you to loosen this up a little bit, it will be easier. Uh, let me show you, but I didn't, didn't do it. Uh, but here, you can see, you can insert a really thin flathead screwdriver. Just insert here, and then you can push this out. Uh, in, in the bottom one, you need to do it from this side, just like this. 
and you can it can help the wire to run up easier. So after you're done, just tie it back. Just insert it back, and it will lock. Yeah. Uh, the next thing is to remove this top cover. Uh, normally I'll try to find a little gap here, and then I'll just pull it down. And then I just pull it along the side. And then here I can slide it up. So after that, uh, I can just remove this part. And then I just put this back here and set this aside first. So now I continue to run my wire into the lip. So uh, now I will try to put this back. I will teach you. Just use the uh, fan screwdriver to push both sides here. Then this will loosen up. So then we just set the rubber back. And then just set it back. Um, so this is our signal wire. Uh, we will uh, just try to disconnect this from here. Plug into our brake connector. And then for this one is to the button. Uh, we will connect it here later. Uh, our existing button here later. And this one, it will identify this one. Just unlock it push out, unlock it, and then press, and then do it like this. Let me try to demonstrate again. So push out, and then press, pull, press, and pull, yeah. So then after you unplug it, plug into our bypass wire, and plug this back into the original place. Yeah, and for this plug, this will plug into our five wires. So now it's time to connect the five wires to here. So I always suggest you to do it like this first. So you can see which wire goes to where. Uh, but uh, So now I can loosen it again. I just set it here so I can connect it. So just insert it like this. Uh, all the other way around yeah let me see yeah. so make sure it locks so the next one is the red one so take the red wire and this side go up and the next one is black so this way you cannot go wrong yeah, uh, by uh, aligning the top color. So the one with the little tap here goes to the upper side. So, and the next one is white and then green. So white. And then last one is green. Okay, so now I can just plug it in like this. So, Actually, uh, the installation is almost done. Uh, after that, you can just tie this a little bit, uh, tidy up a little bit. And this one connect to the button and then set the, the lid back. Uh, uh, here is a note, so there might be some fasteners uh, leaving behind. So use just a prior like this, and then just squeeze on it a little bit and then twist it to take it out. Yeah, it's not difficult. Yeah, so I can reset this and this tap back. So the last thing is to remove the connector from the button and then plug into our wire and then plug back this in. 
so this one plug with back with this is the buster i think yeah just plug it back and then slide it back in here okay so now i can set the whole thing back so there's a trick so i was just trying to set the four white fasteners first by sliding it in i don't remove this one i just slide it in you can see from here i slide this the first one in first yeah so slide it and then i will do the next one so i, I might need to use the finger to pry it down a little bit and then set it and then slide it in yeah so i will slide two and then slide the third one and the last one the last one might be a little bit more difficult yeah so after I slide back this four then I can go to the back here and then we set the four fasteners from the back and then three more one on the left center and the right um, so before we set the sensor uh, we just do a quick test uh, just connect it you can align this little tab to here normally I just uh, slightly rotate it until I can feel something can insert it yeah so then I just screw it in make sure you screw it tight because uh, otherwise it's not waterproof so now I can test it this is the test service so let me try to test it now so to test it, uh, stay away from the sensor and then just use a hand to tap it like once. So it closed. So let's try the opening. Yeah, so it works. So after you test it, uh, you can run the final wire to the to, 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 to here. So let me show you how to do it. So to run the wire down, you need to remove this cover. So just pull it up. It's very easy. No tool is needed. So, but you need to pry out this little push clip. One. And sometimes it's helpful to remove this one as well. So now I can have my wire. You will see from here, there's a blue little plastic cap. I take it out. There are two ways to do it. One, you can just uh, drill a hole and put this wire in. Uh, I normally don't do it. Uh, uh, I normally just put it here, run it through the hole to the bottom of the car and just apply some silicone here to protect it against the water. Um, yeah. But actually here, it, it, it rarely have water coming in from 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 outside to inside so i i think it's it's, it's okay not to seal it as well so i just run it down and try to feel the wire from here and then now i can put my foot sensor okay so now i have uh, connected it i can just stick this into here uh so here is not an even service um so uh, uh normally it will stick well uh but if you worry about it try to try to make it flat uh stand it or do whatever you want uh stand it and then stick it to around this location let me show you i normally stick it here this is the reference uh Just, just stick it press hard yeah so one note uh, the double sided tape uh, adhesive side facing down always facing down so if you are uh, installing the foot sensor below the bumper so you need to apply double sided tape here on this surface so it's it, the, the this side will always go face down yeah, otherwise it cannot sense you so now I'm done with this I will just set this plate back so now that basically uh, the installation is done. Uh, this is for the extra option uh, to to get the signal from the can can bus to prevent the trunk from open the foot sensor from activating when you are driving. So
So uh, basically, uh, the Tesla car has a factory uh, protection feature. Uh, if the car is uh, moving, as long as the car is moving, uh, uh, the trunk will not open, even if the foot sensor try to open it. But uh, in some case, when you when you slow down and drop the speed to zero, there is always a risk that the, the foot sensor will get activated. So this is why we have an extra option uh, for you to, uh, to to make sure to make sure the car uh, the foot sensor will not be activated when the car is not is is in drive mode. Yeah. So to, to install it, there is one more connector you can see from here. So you just connect it to here, from here to here. And then you run the remaining wire to the back of the center console. We'll, we'll introduce it in another video. So you can connect to our CAN decoder to get the signal from this. So this is basically how you install the extra feature. But in this case, we are installing the base feature, uh, base version. So I just unplug this and set it aside. So now, uh, just tidy up the, the wire. Uh, there's some extra wire. You can hide it against here. Just tie it up. Uh, tidy, tidy up a little bit. Uh, you can tie it here, and then yeah, just set the wire nicely, and then we can just put the things back together. Um, so this one is very easy to put. Just push it in, uh, and for this one, you also just set it back here. You see the hole here? I just align it together, and then just insert here, and then I push my push pin back. and then push it and lock it. So after that, I just set this back in place. And then I just put this push pin back here. So set it and click it. Set it and click it. And now we can push this, put this piece back, piece back. Yeah. So try to run the weather seal above it, and then just push down after you finish setting it. Yeah. So after this, uh, you can do one final test run uh, to make sure everything works. Uh, yeah, and I will try to do one more demo uh, to show you how to do the kick properly. So you can see a click. Uh, you can hear a click. Uh, that means this this clip is is uh, secured. There are four. One, two, three, four. So after you uh, fix the rubber, I just push it. So yeah, now it's done. So I will try to do one more demo to kick it. You just insert your foot. You don't need to kick too high. Just go in and out, yeah. Simple as this, yeah. Let me demo our opening again. So that's basically the install. The install should take around like 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, no, it's not second. Minutes, yeah, 20 to 30 minutes. So it's pretty much easy, uh, uh, quite easy for everyone. The running of the wire is easy because we remove the terminal and lets you to plug it in after you run the wire up. So I think this project is quite easy. Everyone can do it. Yeah, I hope you like this video. Uh, you can purchase our food sensor from our site uh, at testeroffer.com. Yeah, thank you very much.